<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. What we're going to be talking about today, I'm really excited about what we're going to be talking about today. This is a mouth to lung tank from Inokin, designed by P. Bissardo, designed by Dimitri, two, I mean, legends in the industry. They've designed a dope little mouth to lung rebuildable tank atomizer. I've really just been having a great time with this tank. But in order to get to know this mouth to lung tank just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we often do. Quick short up closey time. Yeah, go. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the Aris tank. We're going to be taking it apart from top to bottom, but I want to show you a few things while it's all assembled here. It comes with this blue drip tip. It also comes with two other uh, black Delrin replacement drip tips if you don't like this blue one, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I found this random green drip tip and it fits in there. Yeah, well, looks nice. This is compatible with really any 510, any standard issue 510 drip tip. This little arrow right here is for the filling system. It's very simple. You kind of put your thumb here, slide it back. That's how you fill up your tank. Slide it back. Very straightforward and simple. Adjustable AFC on the bottom stops at full closed and stops at full open, but doesn't really stop anywhere in between. It's a very glidey airflow. And you can go all the way down to one tiny little hole, open it all the way up and have all the holes showing or do any combination like these two maybe just this big one these two these three close off that big one have these three it's adjustable and you can experiment around with it you know to find the best airflow that you like taking a look at that 510 pin it is nice and static nice and protruding i don't really see any reason to but this is definitely something if you know what you're doing yeah you could use this on a hybrid mod no big deal and on the afc in addition to the slot they also have a hole right here here. So you can just pick one, pick your favorite airflow hole. Maybe that one, maybe this one's a little bit bigger. That one's even bigger. And then that one's the biggest. I apologize. There is some moisture in there. I just recently rinsed this out. It's no big deal. It's whatever. Let's take it apart. Everything unscrews, glass comes off. No big deal. This is your chimney right hand. Now this is all one piece. This doesn't unscrew out of here in any way. Nice small reduced chamber on the inside for some pretty banging flavor. And then you got your build deck. It's a very simple build deck. Two set screws right there. Hold your single coil in place. I'm using the one ohm spaced canthal coil that is included in this. It also comes with cotton. It also comes with 26 gauge canthal as well for building. Got a bunch of tools as well. Replacement screws. This is a tool for building contact coils. This is a tool right here for building spaced coils. And then you have a Phillips head and flathead screwdriver tool as well. And you also get another replacement drip tip, a whole mess of O-rings, as well as a sort of uh, darker glass and that's the glass that I'm going to be putting on here today. In fact, I kind of want to also swap out these O-rings on the bottom to those dope bright green O-rings just for fun. Easy enough to do. Just remember that these are not the same O-ring. There's a different one for the top and a different one for the bottom. So when you're taking them on and off, just be aware of which one is the top and which one is the bottom. The bottom one is much narrower and shorter. This one's a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger. So just keep, you know, keep, keep, keep tabs on those. And the Aris also comes with some really good, easy to follow instructions. It shows you your deck. It shows you how to unscrew your screws, drop your coil in, clip them, put your cotton in, juice it up. That's how you fill it up. Really helpful directions. It also comes with this pretty cool exploded view so you can kind of see everything that all the parts, all the parts you need. Drip tip, top, glass, deck, everything. Everything you need. Kind of cool. Going to be rocking this on that Inokin Oceanus mod. It's supposed to be a 1 ohm coil. This came out to 1.03, so fairly accurate. No need to run it above 20 watts at all. The great thing about these spaced coils is you can just drop them in. You can give it a little bit of a dry fire and spaced coils always glow evenly, perfectly every single time the first time. Very little fiddling involved with installing this coil. You really do just drop it in, tighten the screws, press the button, let it glow, and, and it's good. You're good. This is a good coil. So just real quickly, I'm just going to wick this up real fast. I'm just using some Japanese organic cotton, and I'm just going to cut a strip off of it uh, about the size of the coil. I generally just eyeball these things. So you got your cotton, you roll it up, you pull it through. You want to feel a little bit of resistance there. And then you have these cutouts on both sides for your cotton. You just kind of drop your cotton, and I use my thumb and forefinger and just kind of 
press them in there. Maybe give them a little bit of a rolling motion back and forth, but they should fit nicely in there. Even if they don't, it gives you enough room to see where you need to cut them. When you cut them, you just cut them like that. You want to have the wicks sticking out the bottom of your deck, maybe even going so far as to gently touch the deck right there on the bottom. So when they're trimmed, you're going to have some cotton kind of poking out the bottom like that past the threads. I'm just going to put some juice on the coil, put some juice on the cotton so everything kind of stays down where it needs to stay down. Once things get some juice on them, those wicks will just stay down where they're supposed to stay down. So you pop your glass onto your chimney like that and then you can put this whole thing right on those threads and just screw it down. Make sure it's nice and snug. Boom! Look at that! Completed, almost completed Eris tank. It just needs to be filled now. So we're going to look for that little arrow. We're going to go boop. Then we're going to take our juice bottle and just bleh, just fill this tank up. Ah! Yeah, I got a little carried away there, but you just slide this back. You're good. Wipe off any excess juice if you're like Grim Green and you get juice fucking everywhere. But yeah, that's it. We have a fully built and assembled Eris mouth to lung tank. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this thing. With the included spaced one ohm coil, it's just a beautiful, warm, flavorful mouth to lung vape. I wasn't a huge fan of the little blue drip tip that it comes with, and I'm not a huge fan of the other little black drip tip it comes with, but this little contoured drip tip guy right here is one of the most comfortable drip tip experiences I've had in my mouth. And I'm inclined to believe that Phil was behind this because it very much matches the way that he likes to vape. Watch any P. Bissardo video and the way he vapes is very much this drip tip, just the way it fits in your mouth. The construction on this tank, top to bottom, very well done. All the parts fit together really well. Looking at the deck, it just makes sense. The deck just makes sense. Really easy to drop your coil in, really easy to tighten those screws, really easy to just pull your wicks down, juice them up, put it all together, and vape. The top filling system couldn't be easier. Slides open, fill, slides closed, vape. Now I know I said this about that E-Leaf Basal kit, but but if I had had this tank back in 2009, it would have just changed my world. We didn't have this high quality mouth to lung vape back in 2009. Thankfully, P. Bissardo and Dimitri are keeping that mouth to lung life alive because it's honestly a very, very satisfying way to vape. Now, as you can see, it's not gonna win any cloud comps, but the volume of vapor that I get from this is just, it's just fine. It's, it's very satisfying. There's no need with a tank like this to just exhale a weather system. But apart from the really well constructed RTA, the really simple build deck and the really simple top fill system, the real shining star of this tank is the flavor, man. The flavor is just, I, I don't even dare I say it, it is spectacular. I've got this loaded up with 12 milligrams Strawberry Circus. It's a juice that I have been vaping for years and years on end, and it has not tasted better than it does in this tank. My favorite airflow is the second airflow hole over. It's the second smallest airflow, and I use the little circle there to just single out that particular airflow. I really like that airflow because it reminds me of my original mouth to lung love, the K-Fun Light. I've been using my K fun light a lot lately, especially since Drew sent me this wonderful bell cap for it. And I gotta be real, real honest. I've always held the K-Fun as like the Entheon, like the top tier of just rebuildable, flavorful mouth to lung vapes. And I still do believe that to be true, but I think the Inokin Eris might give the K-Fun a serious run for its money. And the reason that I like that second over airflow, the second Second smallest airflow is it is almost exactly the same size as the non-adjustable airflow on the K-Fun Light. It's a mouth-to-lung airflow that I stood by for years, and I'm very, very thankful that the Eris includes an airflow setting that is almost identical to the K-Fun airflow setting. The K-Fun Light Plus airflow, non-adjustable airflow setting. My only real gripe with with this tank is the AFC. It's just 
far too loose. It's far too loose and glidey and has the tendency to not stay where you want it to stay. Especially if you're going to remove your tank from a particular mod and maybe put it on something else, you're gonna have to reset your airflow almost every time you do that. Additionally, just during my day-to-day -day use of it, I've had to reset my airflow. Because it doesn't take much. It just takes a little turn, a little touch, a little move to just completely move your airflow around and that really bums me out. I especially wish that the, not the slot, but I especially wish the hole where you could line up one airflow hole with one exterior hole on the AFC. I really wish that those could have clicked into place to really prevent them from moving around. I think that would have been so much better. Other than that, there's not really much I'm gonna fault this RTA on. Really well constructed, easy to build, flavor for days, and it is a very satisfying mouth to lung vape. A few things I didn't mention, it's 24 millimeter uh, diameter. Pyrex glass tank is a four mil capacity, which in a mouth to lung use is going to last you a very long time. Remember, this isn't a direct lung inhale. You're not gonna be plowing through juice like crazy with this. One four mil tank will last you a good long time. And using a one ohm coil on the inside is also going to greatly improve your battery life. Now are you gonna need your vape budget hands for the Inokin Aeris tank? Not really, clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from 34 to $36. So yeah, that's also a screaming deal. That's one of those price points where it's almost cheap enough just to try it out if you're curious. Now if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all of my vape gear and I have nothing left to vape, is the Inokin Aeris something I would seek out and buy? Yeah, absolutely I would. I love having some good high neck mouth to lung stuff in my collection. I love my Mi One, I love my Mi Pod, I love my K-Fun Light Plus, and I love this damn Aeris tank. I can't stress this enough, the flavor on here is stellar flavor. Just beautiful flavor. A lot of people have been asking me to bring back the banana stickers, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to give the Inokin Aeris one single banana sticker. This is very banana sticker worthy. I think in a world full of big sub-ohm tanks and big drippers and lots of clouds bro clouds, it's nice to have a functioning, well-built, mouth-to-lung, four mil capacity RTA that you can rock on like a cool single 18650 regulated mod or a single 2700 regulated mod. It's just a completely different way to vape and it's a very, dare I say it, old school way to vape. And maybe it's just because I've been around for so long, I really appreciate that. And I can really appreciate the old school feel that P. Bissardo and, and, and Dimitri were really going for with this. Anyway, enough rambling, it is what it is. I'm a huge fan of it. It's the Inokin Aris tank. I'll throw some links down in the description where you can check it out if you are interested. But yeah, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.